Hello there. So today I'm going to read you or you're going to listen to a dialogue between an old man and an old lady who are on a plane going to New York. Okay. So as usual, don't forget that um, if you look in the description below the video, you can see the text or the transcription. You can also see some games that you can play, some links to some games to practice the, um, the phrases, the sentences, the vocabulary of the, um, of the video. So, uh, so listen, try to understand, um, listen again. And after listening to the dialogue, I will explain 11 of the words or verbs or interesting phrases from this text. Okay, so let's go. So darling, have you organized the rental car? Yes, yes, don't worry, it's all sorted out. Okay, great. So we're renting a little city car, right? That's right, my love. Don't forget that you'll be driving. Yes, yes, of course. That's what we said. So what do we have planned for the first day? Well, why don't you look at the timetable I created? Oh, Alice, you know I don't like timetables and planning things too much. Okay, sorry, you asked. Oh, darling, don't be upset. It's just that I like a little adventure, you know that. Yes, I know that. You haven't changed since I met you 50 years ago. And you neither, my darling. Oh, look, there's the air hostess. Shall we ask her for some coffee? I'd rather not drink any coffee right now, darling, because if I do, you know I won't get to sleep. But you can get one if you want. All right, then. I think I'll get a little coffee and maybe a little cake, because I'm feeling a bit peckish. Right, darling. We arrive in about six hours, so I'm going to try to get a bit of sleep. Can you pass me my eye mask? OK, one sec. I'll just get it out of my handbag. Uh, John, have you seen my handbag? No, I thought you put it under your seat. Well, that's what I thought, but it's not there. Could you look under your seat, please? Yeah. No, it's not under mine. You didn't put it in your overhead locker, did you? Uh, I'll just have a look, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I hope you didn't leave it at the gate before getting on the plane. No, I'm 100% sure I brought it onto the plane. I remember putting it under my seat. Oh dear, I hope it hasn't been stolen. Okay, so let's um, look at some of the more complicated or interesting words in this dialogue. So, number one. What is a rental car? Do you know? Rental car, it's, it comes from the verb to rent. What is to rent? Yeah, you know, louer, exactly. Like um, sometimes in France we see uh, on a car, rent a car, louer une voiture. A rental car. Number two, um, in Alice says, don't worry, it's all sorted out. What is that? Sorted out. In fact, it comes from the phrasal verb to sort out, which is to, to manage, to deal with, gérer in French. It's all sorted out. Tout est géré. Great. Okay, number three. Um, what is the adjective upset? Do you know? So in the text, is, oh, darling, don't be upset. So upset means vexed or sad or in French, uh, contrarié, vexé. Voilà. Don't be upset. OK, number four. Um, John says, you neither, my darling, or you neither. There are two pronunciations for this word, neither or neither. What does this mean? 
you neither or you neither. Yeah, it means uh, toi non plus. Because um, Alice had said, elle, elle avait dit, you haven't changed since I met you 50 years ago. Tu n'as pas changé depuis que je t'ai rencontré il y a 50 ans. Et lui, et toi non plus, ma chérie. You neither. Donc euh, oui, attention euh, pour les deux prononciations possibles. Neither or neither. Um, number five. Um, Alice pose la question. Shall we ask for some coffee? Donc, dit rapidement, on, on dirait, au lieu de shall, la prononciation serait shall we, shall we, ask, for, shall we ask her for some coffee? Shall. Mais euh, lentement, shall we ask her for some coffee? Donc, vous avez peut-être remarqué que, que shall, on ne l'entend pas très souvent. Euh, peut-être que euh, à l'école, quand vous avez appris l'anglais, euh, on vous a dit que shall, c'est pour parler au futur, comme will. C'est vrai qu'à une époque, euh, on pouvait dire des phrases affirmatives avec shall. Euh, pour, par exemple, I shall go to the park tomorrow. J'irai au parc demain. Mais sachez que c'est terminé maintenant. En, en shall, on l'utilise que dans des phrases euh, interrogatives, dans des questions pour proposer de faire quelque chose. Donc ici... Euh, on demande du café? Shall we ask for some coffee? Donc, euh, voilà. Mais c'est pas shall partout. Ok. Six. Euh, le, le verbe get to sleep. Hmm. It's quite easy to understand, but strange. Uh, John, il dit, uh, You know, I won't get to sleep. Je, je ne réussirai pas. Je ne réussirai pas à m'endormir. Get to sleep. S'endormir. Get, on peut mettre euh, toutes les sauces. Ok, next. Number seven. Um, Alice, she says, I'm feeling a bit peckish. What is peckish? Do you know? Yeah. So peckish is like hungry. Hungry. Um, peckish maybe because to peck, c'est Picoré, like a, a, a bird, like a chicken. So you want to be like a chicken and eat. I'm feeling peckish. <laughs> okay, next, uh, number eight. Oh, eight. Um, one sec. What's that? Alice, uh, she says, okay, one sec, I'll just get it out of my handbag. One sec, yeah, it, it is just one second, but we chop off the and it's, it's just one sec. Okay, next, uh, number nine. Uh, John says, you didn't put it in your overhead locker, did you? What's an overhead locker? So overhead locker in the plane, yeah. It's the, um, le truc là au-dessus de la tête pour mettre des bagages. Je ne sais pas comment ça s'appelle en français. Um, D'ailleurs, en anglais, j'ai regardé et il y a d'autres mots. Um, on peut l'appeler aussi overhead bin, comme une poubelle. Um, ou overhead compartment. Overhead locker, overhead bin, overhead compartment. Right, number 10. Um, Alice, elle dit... Uh, Uh, I'll just have a look. Je vais juste jeter un oeil. Et après, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. C'est <coughs> bizarre, non? Le mot pretty. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Donc, pretty à la base, vous savez que ça veut dire joli. <laughs> Souvent, c'est ça. Mais là, c'est pas joli. Uh, I'm pretty sure, c'est comme je suis quasiment sûr que je ne l'ai pas fait. Je ne l'ai pas mis là. Um, je suis pas, ou, ou, ou on pourrait traduire pretty par assez parfois, mais là c'est plutôt quasiment. I'm pretty sure, je suis quasiment sûr. Voilà, ok. And the last one, number 11. Um, John says, I hope you didn't leave it at the gate before getting on the plane. So, gate. So this is a technical vocabulary, airport vocabulary. The gate... So, 
in a garden, the gate is uh, uh, le portail, le portail, um, la barrière. But in the airport, it is uh, ce qu'on appelle la porte. Comment on appelle ça? La porte ou le portail? Je sais plus. La porte numéro 5 avant de rentrer dans l'avion. <laughs> the gate. Okay, right. So finished for today. Have a lovely day or evening, or I don't know what time it is for you watching this video. Um, don't hesitate to like and subscribe if you like these videos. And if you want, you can comment in the comments below. Maybe you could write the next part of this dialogue between Alice and John underneath in the comments, and I will correct it if you like. So. Have a nice uh, day, evening, morning, night, whatever, and see you next time. Bye-bye. <coughs> <coughs>